Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Oh, today's episode. Let her come to you. Guys, a lot of times when we see something that we want, we want control of it. You know, especially when it comes to females. We we want the we want the females so bad that we kinda subconsciously, without us realizing, we kinda forcing ourselves onto the female. You know what I mean? For example, when you see a girl you like you in a way you try too hard you know what i mean you try too hard to a point where you trying to in a way make her like you you know what i'm saying so for example like you see a girl you like and next thing you know you going out your way to impress her you going out your way to call her back to back you going out your way to do things out of the norm that you really wouldn't do for other women and what I'm telling you niggas is that you got to let the bitch come to you. Give a bitch space for her to like you. Give a bitch time for her to miss you. Let her come to you. Because whatever you build with a bitch, you want it to be organic. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you want it to be real. You want to know that this is really official. This is why you want the bitch to come to you. Because too many times I see niggas. I see niggas doing shit to get a bitch to like them. For example, I see niggas buying bitches nice presents just so the bitch can like them. So, for example, let's say a bitch ain't call you in three days. So instead of you falling back, not doing a damn thing, letting the bitch come to you, you know what niggas be doing to bitches? Sending bitches flowers. Hey, I was just thinking about you. Like, like they'll send a bitch flowers and put a note in a flower, have it delivered to a job and say, hey, I just been thinking about you, hoping you're in good spirits. Some dumb shit like that. Niggas be sending, they, sending bitches edible arrangements and shit so the bitch can like you. You want a bitch to like you for you. Not for what you do for the bitch. You want a bitch to like you for you, not for what you bought the bitch. This is why this is why you'll never catch me trying too motherfucking hard. Either a bitch like me or she not gonna like me. I don't got control over this shit. All I can do is shoot my motherfucking shot and fall back. Too many times you niggas want to shoot your shot, go for the motherfucking rebound, shoot your shot, shoot it again, shoot your shot, slam dunk the shit, stop it, let it grow, like, like, let whatever you got with a bitch, let that shit develop, nigga, if you dating a bitch you like, because we, we all going to have a bitch that we like. Or a bitch that we going to like. So the next time you run into a bitch that you like or think you're going to like, don't force yourself on that bitch. Let her come to you sometimes. Let her call you. Let her check up on you and see, hey, how you doing? Cause let, let me break something down to you niggas. As a king... As a motherfucking god, a bitch gotta chase me. Like, 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 I don't know about you niggas, but a bitch gotta pursue me. Swag boy ain't, ain't out here over pursuing no bitches. The only thing I'm pursuing is greatness within myself. I'm not pursuing no bitch because a bitch don't represent greatness. I said a bitch only represents entertainment. Therefore, that's why you don't catch me over pursuing no bitch. As quick as I met the bitch is as quick as I forget about the bitch. That's the same time frame you niggas got to be on. Because what you niggas are doing 
When you chasing these bitches or you trying to force a relationship upon a bitch, you're putting these bitches on a pedestal. I said you're pedestalizing pussy. And when you pedestalize something or someone, you put them up here. You put the bitches above you. You got to put bitches beneath you, man. That's the only way to go. You got to put a bitch beneath you. You can't be looking at bitches as if they so important. You can't be looking at a bitch. Like that is the end all be all. And that goes for a lot of you niggas who just broke up with your girlfriend. Or breaking up with your girlfriend. Let that bitch go. Let her go, nigga. You niggas be pedestalizing a bitch that walked out of your life. Too many times I see you niggas tell asking me, how do I get my ex-girlfriend back? Fuck that bitch. You niggas trying to use mind tactics and tricks to reattract love back into your life with that same bitch that walked out of your life. Fuck that bitch. You got to let these bitches come to you. You must put yourself on a motherfucking pedestal. You must think highly about yourself so that way the bitch can think the same way about you. You think if you steady chasing this bitch, you think if you steady trying to make a relationship happen between you and a bitch, she's going to look at you as a prize if you the one chasing a bitch? No. She going to be like, damn. Why, why, why should I fuck with this nigga if, if, if he chasing me? And you got to stand up. When it comes to relationships, hear me out, fellas. When it comes to relationships, that should be the woman's idea. A relationship should be the female's idea, not the man's idea. Fellas, you niggas sound like a bitch when you be like, yo, baby, I want you to be my girlfriend. Baby, I want to marry you. Baby, you all I want. Baby, you all I think about. Nigga, you talking like a bitch. Let the female talk like that. It should be the female's idea to say, look, I want a relationship with you. Look, you the man I want to marry. See, when you as a man talk about a relationship and marriage, you sound real beta. See, alpha men, we don't talk like that. Alpha men don't beg bitches for no motherfucking relationship. And we damn sure ain't begging a bitch for no goddamn marriage. That's some beta shit right there. See, a lot of y'all niggas, you acting beta and you don't even know it. See, you was taught by your uncles and your fathers. That's how a man's supposed to treat a woman. By begging her for a motherfucking relationship. I don't care how sexy a bitch is. I don't care how big her bootay is. I don't care how big her breasts is. Fall back. Let that bitch come to you. So in closing, it ain't worth the chase. I don't give a fuck. It ain't worth the chase. The juice ain't worth the squeezing when it comes down to chasing bitches. It ain't worth it, man. The right bitch for you at that particular time will reveal themselves. That's why you got to fall back. The right bitch will reveal themselves to you. You, you, you niggas, I, I always hear you niggas talking about, I want to find that right special girl for me. I hear you niggas talking like that all the time. In order for you to find that right special girl, you got to fall back and let the bitch come to you. You ain't going to know she the right special bitch if you don't give her room to actually choose you and actually come to you and actually submit to you. That's why you got to fall back. By you falling back and letting the right bitch come to you, this will also eliminate the wrong bitches. Think about what I just said. By you falling back 
and letting the right bitches come to you by doing this action, you are also eliminating the wrong bitches. A lot of you niggas out here chasing the wrong bitch. You chasing the wrong bitch that's not for you. Because you think she look good, she's the right bitch for you. Let the right bitch come to you. You do that by falling back, being patient, doing your thing, staying on your motherfucking purpose, staying on your grind. Like, let that bitch notice you, nigga. You niggas be trying to, like, like you niggas be giving bitches too much of your attention. Let them bitches give you attention, nigga. You should feel that you're worthy of their attention. You should feel that you're worthy of their love. You should feel that you're worthy of their head game. You're worthy of their pussy. You're worthy of their sex. So if you feel that you're worthy, nigga, you ain't got a chase. Let that bitch come to you. That was today's episode of Like, Comment, Subscribe, and I'ma catch you on the next go-round, my nigga. Hello.